Okay, this is a lesson to supplement lesson number 77 in your book on scientific notation. <clears throat> so one reason we use scientific notation is to express really large numbers. Here we have 4,165,000 or really small numbers. This would be four millionths, okay, with all those decimal places, four million four millionths. Okay, so it's rather tedious to write out really long numbers or really small numbers uh, a lot of times in mathematical or scientific equations. So we have scientific notation. So generally scientific notation will have one integer in the front. So we're going to use the, the first integer, four, and express that rest of the number as a decimal, okay? And then we're going to multiply it by a factor of 10. Now, we realize when we multiply something by 10, we move the decimal place over, okay? We, we multiply one by 10, we move that decimal place over one to the right, it becomes 10. And again, if we multiply 10 by 10, the decimal place being right there gets moved over one more time, that becomes 100, okay? So that's kind of the, uh, <clears throat> the uh, theory or the operation of uh, scientific notation. How many times uh, are we going to multiply a number by 10? Well, it depends how many times we want to move the decimal place over. So if we move the decimal place in this number, this is the original number, 4 million. We want it to move it over here, okay? So we're moving the decimal place over one, two, three, four, five, six places to get it to the new location, okay? So that becomes 10 to the sixth power, okay? 10 to the sixth. Okay, so it's four times 10 to the six. 10 to the six, if you recognize, is an expression for a million. That's a thousand a thousands, okay? Thousand thousands is a million. So we have four times a million is 4,165,000, okay? So note, if we are making the number smaller, the original number is four million, the new number is four. So how do we make it an equivalent expression? We have to make the exponent of 10 larger, okay? So we've made the integer, the actual number, smaller. We compensate by making <laughs> the scientific part, the power of 10, higher, a bigger number. Up here, think of it, this is the same as 10 to the zero power. Okay, any number to the zero power is one. Okay, so it's like four million times one will equal the original number, four million one hundred sixty-five thousand. Okay, so we are making the original number smaller. We must make the exponent of 10 larger to make it an equal number, okay? So it's the same concept with very, very small numbers, except what are we doing? We are gonna express this number again as one integer uh, followed by a decimal, and typically you use two or three decimal places after it for scientific notation. Okay, and we are going to express it as a multiple uh, of 10, a power of 10. In this case, we are moving the decimal place in the opposite direction. We are moving it this way, one, two, three, four, five, six places, but to the negative, because we are making the number smaller. What have we done? We've taken the original number, which is really, really, really small, and changed it into a bigger number. Okay, this is four one millionths, and we've changed it to four. How do we compensate for it? We multiply it by a very, very, very small power of 10. 10 to the minus sixth equals one millionth. Okay, so 4.165 times 1 millionth 
will give us the original number. So the thing to keep track of here, if we are changing the original number, which is really small, into a bigger number at the front of the scientific notation, we must compensate by making uh, the power of 10 very, very small, okay? So let's review real quick. What are we doing up here? With the original number, we are expressing the original number, which is large, by a smaller integer, followed by decimals, times a power of 10 to a high power, because we've made the, the original number, which is large, into a smaller integer, times a large power of 10. In the case of a very, very small number, we are replacing that expression with a larger integer followed by decimals times a power of 10 that is smaller to compensate. So that's the, uh, the basic operation of scientific notation. If you keep track of the fact, uh, if you're adjusting one side of the scientific notation expression, what do you do to the other side to make it equal the original number? That will help you keep track of what you have to do mainly what the, the trick is, do you assign a negative or positive power to that power of 10? Okay, so hopefully that will help you uh, determine what to do. So that will conclude it for Lesson 77. Hope this helps. Shoot me an email if you have any questions. Bye.